Richard Strager is a man of many talents. He's a world traveler. Traveling is one of my favorite things to do. Can speak six languages. Je parle aussi français. Ich kann ein bisschen Deutsch sprechen. Ego no sense des. Soy profesor de español. Italiano es la mia lingua preferita. Hola, buenos dias. But perhaps most impressive is his profession, which quietly powers most of our country's colleges and universities. I've been teaching for over 10 years at Salem State University as an adjunct professor. A tenured professor at the school has a permanent position there. They're fully benefited. There's not that many of those positions available. And in fact, a lot of universities are cutting back on tenured positions because adjunct professors are cheaper. We're paid on an as-needed basis so we can be basically cut at any point. This uncertainty can be unsettling for adjuncts who make up about 75% of the academic workforce. I think a lot of adjunct teachers are either really struggling because they might get a couple classes a semester and it's barely enough to live on, or they may have to supplement the teaching with other jobs. The COVID-19 pandemic has made matters worse as enrollment has dropped fewer students, fewer jobs, and many of the teaching positions that are available have shifted online. My lifeblood is teaching. I had never taught an online class before and honestly never really wanted to. But necessity may truly be the mother of invention and to stay employed, Strager exchanged his daily drives to various campuses for a makeshift stand-up desk in his home and added a seventh language to his resume. He's learned to speak Zoom. I figured out a way to make it work, but I also realized that it's about double the work of teaching a class in person because there's a lot of setup involved. I'm getting pretty good at it. It's not the same as teaching in person, but it's a pandemic and we do the best we can. While the long-term future of higher education is unknown, experts such as Worcester State University VP for Enrollment, Ryan Forsyth, are concerned about the number of kids. In northern parts of the country, there have been fewer numbers of college students finding their way to college year after year. The benefits of a college education are well documented. We know that earning potential for students with bachelor's degrees is higher than for high school students. We also know that unemployment is generally lower. And these numbers are generally COVID proof as lower income households have experienced higher rates of unemployment during the pandemic. Students can attend and earn their bachelor's degree for somewhere around $10,000 for tuition and fees. That makes a college education attainable for many students. One group of students Worcester State is trying to bring back into the fold is young men who represent just 42% of the student population after a decade of waning enrollment far below their female counterparts. The 100 Males to College is exactly what it sounds like. It is a program that's designed uh, to encourage 100 more men to consider college after high school. This is just one of several programs at Worcester State that have found success by engaging young, often overlooked men, many of them students of color, at the high school level. The university is working hard to encourage students to see themselves as college material, valuing that investment in themselves and getting that bachelor's degree. Angel Sotomayor is a freshman from Worcester in his first semester who credits the program with inspiring him to pursue a degree. This was a free opportunity for me to know what college was like. It also granted me acceptance into Worcester State, which I didn't have previously. But I feel like it did a lot more for me because I didn't even know if I wanted to go to college. Through the program, Angel came to campus during the summer to participate in a play. They ended up casting me as a role in the chorus. I don't think I'm going to be a big theater person, but I definitely enjoy it. I had a coordinator here, her name's Latchmi, and she came to me at North High. She eventually told me that she wanted me to come to Worcester State. I feel like a lot of my friends don't have those people in their lives. I want to learn how to buy a house. Nobody in my family has ever owned a house. That's actually another reason why I, I want to be in college, because the people I want to be like are here. Hmm. We talked about the drop in male college enrollment. There was also a decline in financial aid applications. Low-income families have been disproportionately affected by the pandemic, with limited access to guidance counselors and support structures to help navigate what can be a very confusing college aid process. Finally tonight, a bright future ahead.